Oh. You shouldn't forget this, okay? Okay. You should leave okay. everything organized. Okay, trust me, everything will be fine. <laughs> Good. <laughs> two weeks, Glaucia. In only two weeks, your baby will be here. <laughs> How are you feeling? I feel very good. Thank you. <laughs> But these are going to be my last five days here at the hostel. And I still don't know who is going to help me during your maternity leave. You will be fine, Anderson. I think we should put an ad here in the hostel. Just in case. Can you help me write in one? Sure. It must say, English is mandatory. All right. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> So what should we write? Okay. Good. Go. Everything is perfect. Now we just have to print it. There you go. Yeah. Hello, I am Lucas Brenner. I made a reservation here for two weeks. Brenner, B-R-E-N-N-E-R. -E -E It's Brenner from Germany. Hi, Lucas, I'm Glaucia. Yeah. <laughs> Follow us, please. Here, I found your reservation. I am Anderson. Welcome. Thank you. It is my first time in Brazil. Nice. Are you here on vacation or business? A little bit of both. I do volunteering work in Germany, and I will work here for some time. Ah, your friend Alexander is already here. Such a nice guy. <laughs> he told me he's also a volunteer. Yes, we work together. Hey, I am really interested in volunteering. Maybe you could give me some advice. Hmm? I will be more than happy to tell you all about it. The word volunteer comes from the Latin voluntas, which means choice. It is very important to know that volunteering is a type of work made spontaneously and very often without any pay. So, Mr. Anderson, mm. how about you show our guest his room first, and then you can talk to him. Oops, sorry. Come with me, Lucas. I'll show you your room. No worries. It's all fine. You know, it's always good to meet people interested in volunteering work. We can meet here in half an hour? Yep. Here we are. This is your room. I hope you like it. Can I help you with anything? Everything's fine, Anderson. Hey... What kind of volunteer work are you going to do here in Brazil? I work with projects that aim the development of communities. Development of communities. That sounds interesting. Oh, yeah, it is. I help with many things, such as teaching languages and computer basics. And what about Alexander? My friend Alexander? Yeah. He teaches music and arts to children. Are there other types of volunteer work? I wouldn't know how to teach music. I don't teach music either. But there are many types of volunteers' work. Okay, but what could I do? Well, what about welfare aid? Assistance to persons with special needs. I can imagine a million of activities that you would do very well. Hey, what about teaching basic English to children? I could do that. <laughs> Anderson, phone call for you. Miss Daisy is on the phone. Just a minute. Oh, Miss Daisy's on the phone. Sorry, Lucas. I must speak to her. Go ahead. I will be downstairs soon. Lausa, I'm coming. Hello, Miss Daisy. Yes, it is called tapioca. Yes, yes, it can be either salty or sweet. <laughs> yes, they are delicious. You're welcome. Bye. So, what were you and Lucas talking about? Wait, don't tell me. Volunteering. <laughs> yes, I wanted to know more about it. And what do you already know? 
I know that very often volunteers offer their time and work without claiming any compensation or material reward. I also know that volunteer work is done through NGOs, non-governmental organizations. Yes, but not all the work done in non-profit organizations are unpaid. There are more than 2 million people employed by non-profit organizations in Brazil. Hmm. Okay, I got it. Look, aren't you tired? Do you want to take a break? Yes, I think I'll have some juice. Why don't you join me in the common room after you're done? Will do. I'll get the juice and meet you there. Hmm? Hi again. Hi. <laughs> You're looking for a new worker for the hostel? Yeah. Oh, sure. You're about to have a baby. Yes. Any luck? Not so far. Listen, I was about to have some juice with Glaucia. Do you want to join us? Hmm. I must go to the NGO where I will be a volunteer, but I guess I still have some time. Okay. Yeah. So I'll meet you there. Yeah. So, tell me, do you work for a Brazilian NGO? Actually, this is the reason why I came to Brazil. I'm going to work for an NGO called Meninos do Morumbi. Do you know it? Yeah, sure. They teach music and arts for children. Yes, they do a great job here. You know, I also admire organizations such as the Red Cross and the Amnesty International. Oh, sure. The Red Cross was founded in 1863 in Switzerland. They act at disasters, health emergencies, and war conflicts. The Amnesty International is a little younger than this. It was founded in the 60s. They publicize human rights violations throughout the world. Yes. Yeah. Grape juice, folks. So, what did I miss? Oh, we were talking about well-known NGOs, such as the Red Cross and the Amnesty International. Did you know that uh, NGOs are also known as the third sector? This is because they are non-governmental and non-profit entities. How interesting. I would love to know the NGO where you are going to work. Why not today? I'm going to meet Bruno at Morumbi. Who is Bruno? Bruno is one of the guys who works at the NGO Meninos do Morumbi. Would you two like to come with me? Oh, thanks for the invitation, Lucas, but I'll pass. <laughs> Why don't you go, Anderson? Really? But are you going to be all right, Glaucia? Sure, go on. You two have fun. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning. I would like to meet Bruno Moraes. Over there. Huh? Thank you. Obrigado. Bye. Oi. Bom dia. Excuse me, please. Do you speak English? Yeah. Do you know where I can find Bruno Moraes? Uh, what a nonsense. Maybe you should ask Anderson. <laughs> you already found him. I'm Bruno, and yes, I speak English. That was easy. Hello, I'm Lucas, your new volunteer. Great to have you on board. So, this is Meninos do Morumbi. What exactly do you do here? Many things. We teach arts, sports, music, and English, too. Wow. And how many children do you teach here? Over 1,500 children. Our aim is to help children develop their potential through several projects. I would love to get involved. And I would love to know what my duties are. Oh, relax, both of you. You're just in time to watch our rehearsal. The best way to get to know Meninos do Morumbi is to listen to them play. Let's go? Okay. Great. All right. Let's go. Cool. Let's do it. This is Flavio Pimenta, the founder of Meninos do Morumbi NGO. 
Hey guys, welcome. Nice to meet you, Flavio. Oh, it's nice a great to meet pleasure. you too. I have a gift for you. Oh, wow. Thank you. For the t shirt. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the hiyas.